Greetings to you. Bishop Vetter here again. Happy Valentine's Day. What a wonderful day, huh? In a real sense, even though it's become more secularized, there's something about it, huh? That's very touching. You think of uh, a symbol that you don't have to say much about. You just know it because it shows it, uh, what it means, is the heart. Huh? It's on Valentine's Day with having the heart, it's just, it's a symbol of love. Even though it's an organ of our body, it's a symbol of love. And uh, so I just want to come in a special way and visit with all of you who are married. Uh, this is a good day for you to remember uh, what stirred that love. What had you say to your spouse when you were dating? I love you. And how did you know it? That it was something that was going to endure and last and was different than puppy love or what infatuation and to spend a little time on this Valentine's Day hopefully you go out and enjoy the evening together um, but to spend some time talking about remember right to remember how we fell in love uh, it's such a beautiful thing you know and especially for a sacramental marriage uh, the church has always taught that it's it's a sign it shows us how Jesus loves his church. Your marriage shows the world how Jesus loves his bride, the church. That's incredible, huh? Uh, quite a responsibility and a privilege that you have uh, to show the world how Jesus loves his church, his bride. Um, you think about it. If you had to, if you were, if someone were to ask me, Bishop, summarize for us. What, what's the Bible say? What's what's all in Scripture? If I had to summarize the whole thing, I would say this in one sentence. It's God saying to us over and over, I give myself to you. Six words, I give myself to you. That's actually five words. <laughs> um, that's it. And if you had me define marriage, I would say the same thing. It's a man and a woman saying to each other, I give myself to you completely. I'm not going to hold anything back. We're going to become one. I'm risking it all, everything until death. Uh, and that's what's so beautiful, huh? The, the world, we need to see that love, that commitment, that when I have a bad day and I wonder, does God love me? How does he take me back when I offend him? All I should have to do huh, is look to you as a married couple and say, well, sure, he takes me back. Look at those two. Right? Look how they love. And they're bugging each other too. And they still stay together uh, because they said yes. Their yes was complete. And it's daily. A daily yes, I just encourage you. Finally, uh, we find what we look for, huh? In marriage too, right? What are you looking for in your marriage? Look for the good the true, the beautiful, you'll find it. Why you fell in love, and why you are in love, why you choose to love each day. Because if we look for what's bad, the shortcomings, the things that bug me, all right, how he nags me, how she bugs me the way she drinks water, we're gonna find that till the cows come home. <laughs> so uh, I encourage you to look for the good and the beautiful and the true in your marriage and happy Valentine's Day. God bless you.